Hello, I'm George Wallace, and this is News World Today. We're continuing our series on sharing your religion, how the top religions of the world gain their following. Today, we're focusing on what many believe to be the largest and most prominent of all religions, Christianity. The whole world has been influenced by this religion that started about 2,000 years ago by a man named Jesus of Nazareth. Known for his prophecies, stories, and famous death and resurrection, his life has influenced the culture of the world we live in like no other. So how does it grow? In our research, we found a ministry based in Sioux City, Iowa that is committed to reaching others for Jesus. Their ministry, Get In Here Ministries, their founders, Johnny Lang and Chachi LaRusso. Johnny, Chachi, your ministry is Get In Here Ministries. Where does that come from? We came up with that name uh, way back when. <laughs> we, uh, I actually saw two people outside in, a, in conflict, and uh, finally one of them said, get in here. Hmm. And, and they hugged, and the conflict was over. And, and I realized the power of, of that phrase, get in here. Um, it's, it's relationship building. You know, it's, it's bridge building. Yeah, and it's like a bridge over troubled waters, a song would say. And you know, brothers, they don't shake hands, they, they hug. And so basically that became our ministry name. And, and FYI, those two people were these two people. We had conflict, that's how we re resolved it. So. so Get In Here Ministries is about hugging? No, it, it's about connection. That's oversimplified, George. Yeah, you, you didn't, you, it sounds like you didn't listen. But no, uh, Get In Here Ministries is, is all about being relevant and persuasive. And the word relevant is rela is Swahili means relationship. Yeah. Vent is what we do when we're angry or we're upset or we're, we're just ticked. And so we vent. So relevant, relational venting. Yeah. Okay, so how do you convert people then to Christianity? We actually, um, we have several techniques we use, uh, but really three that we feel are the three Three humdingers, the, hum, yeah. the core, the foundation of what we do. The home runs. And uh, <laughs> these three, uh, you know, there's so many techniques out there now. You know, how do you share, how do you share the gospel? Well, there's so many old school ones that we're like, don't think that works anymore. Scale you know? one to ten. You yeah, know, that kind of stuff. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're like, we're in the new, mil, mil, the, the 2000 millennium. Era. Yeah. Well, in our investigation, we're, we're trying to determine what are the things and techniques that you're using that work to bring people into Christianity. So, Well, uh, uh, you know, our first technique, I think the one that really covers a lot of people, is called the altered famous saying technique. And, uh, you know, this, this is where, you know, basically there's so many famous sayings out there in the world. You know, through the years, you know, people have said things, maybe you've seen on TV. One was, uh, just do it. You know, you hear, just do it, you know. And, uh, and we changed that. We took the, one of the words out, replaced it, and said, just believe it. Do you see how quick that is? Just believe it. Believe, do, believe. And, and, and we go down you know, streets, and we're like, just believe it. And it works, believe it or not. <laughs> and we, uh, another one is, um, is it in you? you know? and, and we say, is he in you? It's referring to the spirit. So and, it becomes he, which is personal. You know, or, or, or use the force. And we're like, use the scripture you know, in your life. And see how we took a line from a movie like, show me the money. We might no say, no, show me eternal salvation. Guys, I got to tell you, I, I just don't think I would ever respond to that particular technique. You have a right to say that. It's, it's you know, America's beautiful. That We have rights to disagree. Bobby Brown said it's your prerogative. But what I would tell you is our another one that we really love, our second technique, is the sarcastic manipulative comment technique. Yeah, and th this is really where you get to use guilt for good. You know, a lot of people are down on guilt. You know, don't don't make people feel guilty, or you know. But we're like, use it. You know, you know, it's a tool. And 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 one and let me give you an example of that. Let's say I come over to your house, you're watching TV, and I say, Hey, Mr. Wallace, uh, you watching TV? Uh, yes, I am. And then I say, Wow, that's funny because you know, other people in other countries not only can't watch TV but don't have food. Oh, okay, that, that that rips them, and that rips them, and that makes you think, hmm, maybe I ought to, you know, pray for these people, and I think that really draws you in, you know. Yeah, less about here and now, and more about the eternal, if you know what I'm saying. Yeah, and this works. Yeah, like a charm. Yeah, <laughs> really. If we must yeah. say so ourselves. Understatement. Yeah. 
Well, neither of those techniques seem particularly great to me. What else do you have? Okay, none, none taken. Um, I think that our third technique, uh, which kind of gets the rest of them, you know, 92, 93% of them are already taken, you know, yeah, they, they get it. Um, it's the, the net that grabs them all up. Yeah. Again, the net. And that net, the third technique is sing it, don't speak it, you know. Does that make sense? Oh, it makes total sense because music is the most powerful medium out there. We could say some things or we could sing some things. Singing draws them in. In fact, uh, I think it was a week ago now, um, we got on that elevator. I, yeah, I know what you're talking about. We got on the elevator, there's a young lady there, and I remember Johnny saying, what floor? Yeah. You know, common question. Yeah, and she was like uh, 14, and I was like, okay. I pushed the button, door shut, and I go right in the song. I say, you know, I, I think I sang something like, you know, elevators only go so high. Wait, 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 wait. He, uh, You've got to sing it for him because it, he, well, he can't be in the moment with us if he doesn't know your gifts. Use your well, gifts. Well, you know, it was something like, mm, one, three, five, four, three. It was like, uh, the elevators only go so high, but can he take me higher? And, we, and he threw in the harmony. Tight harmony. Yeah, it was tight. And, and I think that that made an impact on her. You know, she, she actually ended up getting off on the second floor quickly. But I think what we did was we planted a seed. Yeah, we watered the seed, we put in the fertilizer, we mixed it around a little bit, and sure she was she left in a hurry, but she was shocked, shocked hopefully into the kingdom. Guys, I got to be honest, uh, I don't think any of these techniques uh, certainly would work with me. Mm. Okay. And that's your prerogative, that's your uh, response to it, because maybe your heart is hard and calloused and you're just hard-hearted. Well, I mean, uh, I'm thinking to my circle of uh, friends, I can't imagine these techniques working with any of them either. Okay. And that's And usually that's where we like to make it more personal and ask you the question. Do you need to get in here? Uh, I'm fine. Okay. Uh, that's fine. That's that's fine. Only time will tell if get in here ministries will set the new standard. Personally, I have my doubts. For News World Today, I'm George Wallace.